April is a big month for the Child and Family Agency of Southeastern Connecticut. Not only are they celebrating National Volunteers Month, but they are preparing for their 60th annual tag sale. Here to tell us more are Rick Calvert, the Chief Operating Officer, and Mary Don Grimond, a longtime volunteer. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Great you for having us. I'm excited. This, this is the is 60th so cool. year. The 60th year of this marvelous sale. That's incredible. Uh, and I know that there are hundreds of volunteers involved. In this. There are hundreds of volunteers involved in this. There are also hundreds of, of people who come to see this, but the volunteers are up and down the in the various auxiliaries along southeastern Connecticut shoreline. Mm -hmm. Sure. And it's all done to benefit child and family in New London. And let's talk a little bit about that, Rick, before we right. get going about all of the, uh, the shopping we can do. <laughs> right. Um, because it's what, teamwork. <laughs> sure. What, what are the services you provide? Uh, the services we provide uh, include counseling services for children and families, office-based, traditional, think of a child guidance clinic, mm -hmm. uh, as well as intensive in-home services, so we go to people's homes mm -hmm. throughout southeastern Connecticut. We also have 18 school-based health centers providing medical and mental health care, and we have child care services both preschool and school age. I know we're talking southeastern Connecticut, but who exactly do you serve? So we serve basically the child is the ticket of admission. So okay. we need long-term <laughs> services for adults in need. Uh, we have uh, sister agencies uh, around the area who, mm -hmm. who serve those and we work collaboratively. But, uh, but we serve uh, the south southeastern children and families who are most in need. So families who are struggling with multiple issues, sure. poverty, joblessness. Uh, we heard the story earlier about bankruptcy. Right. Uh, so, f And these days with this economy, families need more than ever. So counseling services and wraparound case management services for concrete needs. So one way we could all help is by coming down to the tag sale Indeed. and uh, purchasing some items. Talk to me, uh, Mary, about some of the items you brought here today and what we could find there. You can find anything in Everything the world and anything. at the tag sale. It is the most <laughs> majestic exquisite thing you never know what you might find but this this is exquisite sure this we have to do more research on it we think it was probably made in the 50s by the great american flying machine company it is just it, it's it's pretty cool it's, right it, it yeah it's, it's sort of an antique it's it it's back. almost as old as we are it's really <laughs> cool um these beautiful boots beautiful boots. i mean they've never been worn before never been worn somebody brand donated new them. brand yeah. new made by the Kettle Black Company in Australia. Oh. They're exquisite, all lined. We have new things, we have old things, we have um, th things like this. People will give us this beautiful pitcher mm -hmm. and that wonderful lamp down there on the bottom. Sure. Are exquisite things that people have used gently, quietly, and then they give them to us. And we have to mention your outfit. You have a oh, Chanel dress I on do, right now. I do, I do. It's a walking advertisement. I am, I am. And it's all so my beautiful. jewelry came from the sale. Really? And I have, yes, oh, all from the sale. This is a Chanel boutique dress. It's quite divine and very pleasant and easy to wear, and you look ladylike. That's always good. And the <laughs> I worry my about pearls, that all the time. It's important, you should, right? it's important, you know. And my pearls, mm -hmm. all, and the reason they all have these little strings on them right. is because that's the way they mark them at the sale. So a red tag may mean it's a four dollar item, mm -hmm. and my the a blue tag may mean it's a two dollar item. That's great. And uh, all the money is going back to the. All the money goes back to the agency. Uh, wow. As you can imagine, a lot of the funding that comes to Child and Family Agency, uh, apart from billing to insurance, is from state and federal grants, which restrict the usage to the predefined purposes. Mm -hmm. The funds that our volunteers have been raising for 60 years of this mm -hmm. tag sale wow. are unrestricted in the sense that we can use them to make up the difference in a tough economy so that we can continue to do what we've done all along since the 1800s wow. and give services to children and families without regard for ability to pay. Sure. The partnership with 600 plus volunteers That's is incredible. exactly That's what, what lets us keep that high ground. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a fantastic time. It's the 60th annual tag sale. Uh, it's kicking off Thursday, May 1st. It's going to run through Saturday. It's going to be located at the New London Armory. Go to childandfamilyagency.org for all of the details. Good luck with everything. Thanks. I think you were, there's so going to be a line you. to get in. How oh, fun is this going to be? Line. You'll have to come. I'll have to check it and out. Wonderful things for you. Oh, thank thank you. you so much for being here. Best Thanks. of luck Thanks with for the having event. Thank you.